Greetings. In this video, we will look at Team Book Cloud and some of the content you can find there and how to navigate it. You can find Team Book Cloud under Databases, Team Book Cloud. You can also find it under K-12 Students. We actually have it on the elementary, middle, and high school page. The titles predominantly are for middle and high school, but we do have it on the elementary page because it's great for uh, read alouds and choosing books um, for that. So I'll open Team Book Cloud. There will always be the recently added across the top. There's sections for graphic novels, enhanced ebooks, which have um, narration with music and atmospheric sounds. We have fiction, nonfiction, drama and poetry, National Geographic videos, and audiobooks. If we look at fiction, you'll see we have teen fiction, teen high low. There are classics. We have middle school fiction, middle high low, short stories, and then titles in French. There is drama and poetry. So if you're looking for any of the Shakespeare, um, some of the classics like Pygmalion, you can find it there. Enhanced ebooks have the text as well as narration with music and sound. There is a graphic novel section. So we have teen and middle school. Again, the National Geographic videos. There's a section for titles that are typically assigned in AP English. So a lot of the classics are here and available. And then we have a section for just audiobooks. So if I look at fiction, I might look at Planet Grief. We have the book description, and then I click on Read Online. And there are different interfaces for the titles. So um, this one's a little more enhanced. And I'm just using the arrow keys to go forward. Nonfiction's very similar. So we've got some court cases. Um, let's look at this book by uh, Eva Wiesel. Some of them do have lesson plans, so I'm going to open those up so you can see what they look like. And this does link out to another location, so I'm going to click on Read Online on st instead. And then from here, there is a chapter menu. Um, this is just, depending on how the book is uh, created, there might be chapters, there might not. I can go to text options, change my text size. I can change the spacing. I can change my font. I can change my color options if I need something that's low contrast. Oh, let's do, let's see, there we go. That's what I'm interested in. So something low contrast. I can add notes. Now those are cookie based. So if you're switching between a Chromebook and a phone, mobile phone, um, the notes are not going to go with you. They're going to stay. If you created them on a Chromebook, that's where they'll be. And then what looks like play buttons are actually the advanced buttons, but I can also use my arrow keys. Enhanced ebooks. I'm going to skip the drama and poetry. So let's look at Mansfield Park. And when I click read online, there is now a play button in the left hand corner. 
So you won't be able to hear this, but I want you to see what happens. It will, it's starting to play music. And then when it starts to read, it will highlight the text that it's narrating. Oh, and there's a lot of introductory music. Okay. So here we go. And now it's it's jumping through as the narration continues. Chapter menu, so I can jump to a section. And again, I have those same text options and I can bookmark my page. Again, that's cookie based. And that's an enhanced ebook. So say I need to find Macbeth. So I had a student that was reading Macbeth and she was struggling with the Shakespearean language. So I said, well, let's just see if there's a graphic novel. So we did a search and we did find that there was a graphic novel of Shakespeare and so I'm just scrolling through. And then in this particular case, this has modern language. And so that helped her get a sense of the story and what was happening. So I can scroll through, use my arrow keys or use the arrows in the upper left and right. But then she came back and did a search. And she then went to the enhanced ebook, click read online, and then this play button in the bottom left corner. So there's uh, sound effects and so on, and then the highlighting of text as it goes through the narration. The last thing I want to show you is under the index. It shows you everything we have from it that's within Teen Book Cloud. And the important buttons are uh, the speaker button, which means it's got audio. The plus sign is in uh, could be lesson plans or quizzes. And then here's something magical. If you click on the book ID, you get the direct URL for the title. So you could create a hyperdoc and put book assignments on that hyperdoc with links to the particular titles, or you of course could put them in Google Classroom. But then, you know, this index shows you everything that's available. Um, whether it's just a regular ebook, an enhanced ebook with the narration and sound effects, and so on. If you have any questions, please email kyvl at ky.gov. Thank you.